Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Prospect Central 101 on YouTube. My name is Chris Robbins and today I am joined by one of our fellow members of the group. Carson Haley. Uh, and we are going to be taking a look at Mike McGlinchey. Uh, he is the offensive tackle uh, from Notre Dame. And uh, I actually say offensive tackle for a reason. Uh, do you want to explain a little bit about that? Uh, yes. Uh, well, right now he plays left tackle at Notre Dame, so most people are going to think he's automatically a left tackle. But 2015, when first-round pick Ronnie Stanley also played there, he played at right tackle. And he was actually better at right tackle, and I think he, that's where he should play in the NFL. Cool. Uh, so a little bit of background here. Uh, Mike Lugunshi is a fifth-year senior. Uh, he's actually got pretty good size. He's listed like six seven on the database here. Uh, not overly old, anything like that. 95 birthday. So actually, his birthday is tomorrow as we record this. So that's pretty cool. Uh, first their crew, theater television major, yada yada. What are the team captain? So, uh, high personality character type of guy. Uh, anything here that, that you're noticing? They have that he shows effort and all that stuff, but anything like size wise a concern or a positive to you stand out? Um, that, that size is that's always nice to have, and I don't think that hurts him at all. That, that's, that's a mammoth. Right there, so. Yeah, it says he's highly conditioned too, so uh, maybe we'll get to see some of that over the course of these games. Uh, so we are actually going to start by watching the Citrus Bowl here uh, versus LSU this year. Uh, and he, as we said earlier, he is playing left tackle in this game, so I believe it's like 68. Yes, that's his number. Yeah. Uh, here we go. In this place. Here we go. Nice job there, just keeping the pocket clean, not getting forced back. Oh, okay. Pulling. A little slow, but he maintains the block, it does what he has to do. Good kick, keeps him in front. Basically a top block. Good job, um, keep, keep him on the inside. I'm trying to find out if he's leaning more inside or outside here. Uh, it seems to be like he's, he's doing pretty decent both ways. I would like to see him to seal the edge better there. Good block there. When Bush ran right behind him. Okay, that was a little weird play. Decent, decent pull. Shows good, good, that was good kick right there. That was nice. He's got good kick step this game at least. So they haven't seemed to get beat by any move yet either, which is kind of nice. Yeah, I wish T Art and T played in this game because it'd be a lot more fun matchup. Right. That was nice there. And then, um, and so Seemed like he was barely trying and just kept him in front. <laughs> <laughs> nice anchor, didn't get pushed back again. 
really yep. good pace. Nice, nice job sitting. Got out there. Nice job. Pancake. Okay. Did his thing it looked like? Yeah, <laughs> Nelson is double teaming the dude. Yeah, that's just unfair. Nice hole. Yeah. Not getting pushed back in his quarterback flat either. He's not giving up a lot of pressure. He's not getting pushed back at all. This is oh, there you got, got beat. Me. There he goes, right when I say it. <laughs> got beat there. So let's actually rewind real quick and you see what happened. This should be the nice play here. In fact, actually, what I'm going to do is turn this to. Point twenty five, and he ha is doing a nice job right there, but then oh. he starts l lunging too much, and it just it's easy for the defender just to get by him. Okay, so it should actually be this play. There we go. Yep. Good so base Nelson so far. Just, Nelson just and, queue him up and then he brings inside. Yeah. Looks like he reached too much. Just easy slap away for, uh, for the defender to the quarterback. Nice shot there forcing Fourier on the edge though. Yeah. Patience. Good pull. Ooh, driving them back. That's nice. Not bad sitting there, not allowing to get pushed back much. Puts Nandy on the ground. to the outside there. Yeah. Nice ridge watch. Oh, jeez, Wimbush. Or maybe that's the backup. Well, whoever that was, that was pretty bad. The number four there. Oh, 
Nice job getting a piece of them. Oh, camera. Open that way nicely. Mm -hmm. Oh man, he's just waiting for him to to try and attack. Patience. Nice job reaching forty three. Stop that spin move. It's interesting. Yep, nice job. Oof, he just overpowered him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whiffed, kind of whiffed on the cut block there. Nice pull. Oh man, he had to make that pass. It's really not letting him get past him. Yeah, it's a good job. Touchdown. Great push. Oh, what a catch by 81. Yeah, this was a damn winner. Yep. Dang. So, that was McGlinchey versus LSU. Uh, what do you like from that game? Dislike? Any uh, thoughts on, on what we saw his first film? Well, that was one of his more impressive games. I mean, he didn't really get, he only got beat that one play. He was deeping guys in front of him, had a nice base. I I did notice sometimes maybe he'll he'll trust his long arms a little too much and he'll start reaching for the guy instead of waiting for him to come. But is it, like, that's how he got beat on that one play. He's kind of reached uh, too early and it was just easy little rip, uh, slap move, rip, quarterback, sack. It's, that's a problem sometimes with him. Yeah, so... Uh... Just from what we saw there, obviously it's the most recent film we have of him uh, before we see him at in the Combine Indy. Uh, from that particular sample, obviously it's one game, where do you think you project him to go? Where do you think would be a good spot for him? Where do I think he should go, or where do you think I, he will go? Where do you think he should go, based on what you just saw? Uh, where he should go? Well, I have him graded... I haven't graded out as an early second rounder. Interesting. After watching that, yeah, that was that was definitely that was first round tape. That's, uh, that was a good game. Uh, I, I would like to see what he did for, would would have done versus Art and T. But mm -hmm. yeah, that was that was good good game right there. So before we go all the way back to 2015 here, I have another question for you. How much do you think Kevin Quentin Nelson next to him has improved? Or uh, hurt his A stock and B his just overall performance. Oh, Quentin Nelson's helped a ton. I mean, he's just Nelson's a stud. I mean, everyone is better around Nelson because he'll he'll just dominate the other person. And when they double team, I mean that that D lineman has no chance. I mean, Nelson is best guard I've ever scouted personally. I think. He should go top five, and there's a strong chance he will. So, I mean, that's definitely helped uh, McGlinchey a, a lot. So, because it's helped him, do you think that that's actually hurt his, his, his individual stock? Maybe? I think it possibly could. I mean, I've never actually thought about that, but that's actually something to think about, that uh, what's he going to do when he doesn't have Nelson by his side? I mean, I know when he played right tackle, he didn't have Nelson right next to him. And he did good at right tackle, but uh, uh, that's where I think he should play. But if he has to play left tackle, and he doesn't have a, a Quentin Nelson by his side, how's that? How's he gonna do? Yep. 
Uh, so, yeah, speaking of right tackle, we actually have 15 tape here of Pittsburgh, uh, and as you can see at the bottom of the screen here, he actually does play right tackle. Uh, so, while well, Nelson is still up guard, uh, so this could kind of be a little bit more interesting, and normally, I don't think we're going to go back uh, a couple of years in the tape, and that 16 tape is even a little bit old <laughs> in some ways, uh, but just so that we can get a little bit of a glimpse at what Magunshi can do with Nelson opposite side, and as well as what he can do from a right tackle standpoint. Uh, we're going to make a little bit of a rare exception for this one and go back all the way to 2015. Uh, so, yeah, are you ready to watch some, some of this? Yeah, let's do it. Perfect. Opposite side play. Second level there nicely. Mm -hmm. Opened up the wall. Opened up the lane. Mm -hmm. Oh man, he just completely missed that edge. It was probably a double assignment. In fact, I'm almost positive it was, but man, I don't know how you miss the edge guy like that. He <laughs> like triple team the end of the tight end game over. Oh, Fuller. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice job, ceiling. Washes him down and ends up on the ground. His first punch. Oh my god, Kaiser, you had to throw that. Oh, so is their left tackle or the tight end? See, they're fine. Again with the yep. second level block. Yep, pancake them. That's a nice job. Keeping them in front of them. Did not let him get inside where the run was. Nice job. Second level, no one's there. Getting downfield, I like that. There's one pretty athletic. You go. Go ahead. He's pretty athletic for six eight three fifteen. I mean, I don't know many people that can move like that that big. Yeah, and there's something a little bit different about him too, because I mean, when we're watching guys like Orlando Brown, for instance. Mm -hmm. Like other people in this class just don't really bring that mobility, and that was another thing that I liked about Rankin too. When we, I was watching him with Brady. Yeah, yeah, I liked Rankin. That was good job by McLinchy. Tizer fumbled. But... Guy in front of him. Good view there. Second, second level. Not, not 47 down with barely anything. Oh man, they stonewalled him too.
I'm driving him, driving him. See, he's very impressive at right tackle. I guess he'd be. I think he'd be a great right tackle in the NFL. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's just takes him from the other, from one hash to the other hash, just easy. He seems to have the pure strength for the position. Yeah. I mean, obviously that's something that I would hope we have as a first down here, but. Like he got it. Yep. Oh, well, maybe. Yeah, he got it. But just drives him, keeps washing him down all the way to the other side of the hash. That's nice work. I don't want to necessarily call him a road creaker, but I mean he's he's certainly opening lanes and, and oh nice job. That was nice kick, nice kick, sat nicely, nice view here. So he's just gonna Look, shut down the spin move. Yep. That was textbook. Oh my God, thirty three, you were terrible. That's, that's that's Josh Adams, he to be high round pick here. And this is like his what freshman sophomore tape freshman yeah and see for the a knock you could possibly have on Adams is what's he trying to do when he when he doesn't have McGlinchey and Nelson on the block for him so I mean they opened a lot of holes for Adams this year so yep of course on the other hand I could counter that and say that he had the quarterback so he was targeting yeah him. Good job getting over to the one tech. Am I the only one that loves the old fashioned face mask that McClinchy has, just with the bar down the center? <laughs> it's just like so old school, it's nice. Oh, lost his oh. balance. Yeah, I almost did the splits there. If he did the splits, I might need to bump him up a little bit because what 315 pounders other than Christian Wilkins can do the splits. Oh man, he's just blowing through guys. Yeah, see, right tackle, he's amazing at it. I mean, it's just incredible. I remember watching one play of McClinchy at right tackle where he made the, the best effort play I've seen. It was I think it was versus Texas, Texas or USC. He like went all out, dive, knocked them away from the quarter. That was impressive stuff. That was also at right tackle. So I, I I really like him at right tackle. And this isn't saying that he can't play left tackle. I mean, obviously he's still a pro prospect, and when he gets there for coaching, and, and constantly goes up against there for guys in practice and such, like there's ways that you can you can get the guy to, to play left tackle very well. If he can't, even year one. I mean, I remember yeah, when we um, took we took the Lions by we uh, took Taylor Decker, and everyone was saying that he was going to be a long term right tackle, and he's been one of the better left tackles that the Lions have ever had. Yeah, McGlinch can play left tackle. I think he'd be very good at it. Nice um, above above average, possibly pro bowler. I mean, at right tackle, I think he's a he's a potential all pro type of guy.
Another thing I'm going to point out too, maybe it's just because they're not showing it on the tape, but I haven't seen him take any penalties yet either. No, I haven't seen any either. He's very disciplined, him and Nelson both. Oh, man. What a nice hole. He's just going to get off the guy and move on to the next. Try to pull on his side. It's a little weird. Drives him down the field. Another thing I noticed too is oh my, okay. Uh, if he seems These to guys be, aren't going anywhere. He seems to be playing through the whistle well, also. He's not giving up on plays too early, most times at least. Seems to be a high motor, high character. Say the dude. Only guy blocking it looks like. <laughs> Keeps them in front. You mentioned this earlier, but he's done a really nice job outside of like one or two plays of really keeping his base in an anchor. Yeah, I mean, look at that. That's oh, incredible. My. That is incredible. That drives him 10 yards and then pancakes him. I mean, it's phenomenal stuff. And uh, we just talked about that too, playing through the whistle and not giving him on plays. And that was a, a full, a full play. Mm-hmm. Nice job sealing the edge. That's each one price from last year. Just drove him. He's a good player too. I actually kind of liked him a little bit. Yeah. Look at that pancake. Beautiful. It's really interesting how we hear all the time about how so many teams need O-line and how the the NFL is in, in such dire need of offensive linemen because defensive lines just keep winning and winning and winning. I think you have guys like McGlinchey and Nelson and Rankin and Connor Williams and, and all these guys come out and it's like is is this I this is almost a question for you too, Ashley. Is is this an above average offensive line class? Um this is a very solid um offensive line class. I mean there's as of right now, I only have 
two with first round raids, but there's Matlinchy right there on the cusp of it. There's it's deep too. And that's that's huge since the Tetsons need an offensive tackle and don't pick till the third round. I uh, there's guys that should fall there that and should start day one, left tackle and we need it big time. It's it's definitely a lot better than last year's class. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, last year's class, we all put some money and even went the first round. I know Kim fell to the second. I think the Chargers took it, one of their guards in the first. Horse Lamp, was it? Oh. Uh, no. I Bowles went to the Broncos yep. in round one. And. Is that it? I know Robinson went round two. Mm. Other guy. A lamp fell to round two. I was surprised by that. Uh, Just... Was it Feeney that went in the first? No, Feeney didn't go first. Who who's that other top offensive tackle? It was Robinson, Bowles, and I feel like I feel like two went. I mean, I I'm I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm looking it up. Bowls <laughs> um... and... Ram check. Yep, Ryan Ramsek, there it is. Mm -hmm. So only two, both towards the back end. One is probably going to go top ten range. I see at least three, maybe four, going round one this year. Williams is, he'll be, if he falls out of the top ten, it's kind of surprising, but it's right there, that's his range. Top 20, which is basically guaranteed to go in there. Someone like Orlando Brown, because of the humongous potential, comes in late round one, maybe ranked in late round one. There's four guys, I think, have a quality shot of going round one. So, obviously, we know how he turned out now. But as prospects, how would you compare Michael Glinshi to Ryan Ramchuk? Oh, he's better. <laughs> he's just... Better in everything, basically. You know, I I know I'm not really a big Ramchak fan. I think, or not Ramchak, but Glenshty fan. I think he's a little bit overhyped. And you watching that film today, you might not agree with me that he's overhyped. Because I've seen some other film with him struggling at left tackle, is what, which is why I think he's right tackle. As you see, he dominated in that pit game at right tackle. But I was not a Ramchak fan last year. I did not give him a first round grade. He had awful tick. He was just, he struggled in a lot of different things and I would definitely take McClinchty over Ramchek. I mean McClinchty only gave up three sets this year with about 400 drop, uh, about 400 uh, stamps. So. Nice. So, yeah. Nelson, N Nelson gave up zero. So oh, why, why I love Nelson. There you go. <laughs> So, uh, any anything in particular? Just to summarize, final thoughts, like positives, biggest positives, biggest negatives, or maybe team fix. Um. So yeah, I highly suggest uh, other people don't just watch our film. Go out there, watch the film yourself. Go watch him versus Georgia, Stanford, Miami. He, he struggled versus those teams. So don't just like watch these two games and think he's some great prospect. Go watch those other three games where he struggled, which is why I think he's a better right tackle, which I why I don't – right now I don't have a first-round rate on McClinchy. Like, he struggles versus speed rushers, guys like Lorenzo Carter, Devin Bellamy, the guys from Miami, Stanford. He struggled versus the speed rushers. He, he got burned. He gave up the uh, – Versus Georgia, he he gave up the strip sack that shut the game down. It was over when after that happened. Georgia wrapped up the game. It was I think Davin Bellamy burned him around the edge, stripped the quarterback. They Georgia won by one point. See, I, 
I like McGlinchey, but he's not some like top 15 guy, like can't miss offensive tackle, in my opinion. I have early second round grade on him. He's got, he's got, he's good though. He's got incredible potential. He'd be an amazing right tackle. He'd be a very solid left tackle. Six eight three fifteen, is just incredible size, and it's just, I like him, but he's, he's not as good as what everybody thinks he is, in my opinion. Yeah. So, uh, I think that about does it from us. Uh, I think you basically got every everything you wanted to say, right? Yeah, I don't have anything else. And, uh, yeah, so thank you guys all for watching. Uh, make sure to drop a subscription uh, to our YouTube channel for more quality content like this. Uh, give us a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And, yeah, we hope to see you guys soon. That's it for now. Hope you guys have a nice rest of your day. And uh, peace out.